Wealth Wizards is the UK's leading robo-advisor. We were founded in 2009 specifically to take on the challenge of automating regulated financial planning advice. Um, we were the first company to launch a financial planning app in the UK market with our product Pension Wizard, which we launched in 2012. Um, but we've, what we've been doing more recently is we've been pioneering the development of robo-advice with incumbent brands in the UK market. And that led to the launch of our retirement wizard, working with LV uh, in 2015, and then last year to the launch of our Robo Paraplanner. And which we're going to show Robo Paraplanner on the screen now. What Robo Paraplanner does is it puts the power of a robo advisor into the hands of a traditional advisor. And uh, it really is a back office productivity tool that does all of the heavy lifting that a financial advisor needs to do when they're not in front of the client. Um, and we've been achieving some quite remarkable productivity improvements with advisors achieving up to 10 times improvements in productivity using this tool over the 15 months that it's been live now. Um, so that's taking a, a case that might have been taking 20 hours, which is not untypical in a complex advice case, and delivering it in just two hours. The challenge for us has been the, the time that it takes us to configure Robo Paraplanner to deliver advice that's consistent with the brand philosophy and the advice policies of that particular advice firm or that brand. And that's why we're really excited today to be launching Turo. And Turo is the artificial intelligence inside our robo-advisor. And what we've been able to do is develop uh, an ability to use training data to rapidly configure a robo-paraplanner to deliver advice that's consistent with the house view and the advice philosophy of a particular advice firm. And I'm going to hand over now to Pete, who's our CTO, to show you how we do this. So as Andrew was speaking, I took you through um, the form that the uh, advisor will use to, to capture information about, uh, about the user, either face-to-face -face or over the phone. Once we then have calculated the advice, where the advice is presented as one of these three documents, <clears throat> which, uh, which tell you uh, what we learned about you in the conversation we've just had, the advice that we've given, and the factors that we took into account to arrive at that decision. So in the example that we're going to have a look at now, um, this is the case of Jane Green, not her real name. Um, and she's got a defined benefit pension, uh, or like a final salary pension. And she's wondering whether she should go into the scheme and take money out every month and get that money for the rest of her life, or whether she should <clears throat> have that transformed into um, a lump sum that she can take out in one go. Now, as you probably know, this is a very complex area of, uh, of advice, a regulated area of, of advice. And we've, we've mentioned it, we've recommended that in her particular case that she do transfer out of the scheme. And underneath that, we've got this table that shows all of the factors that we've taken into account in order to arrive at that decision. Now, for, you know, because this is our IP, we've kind of anonymized these uh, ahead of the demo. But what these factors three and six will be, for example, is um, critical yield and um, hurdle rate and things that the advisors would take into account when trying to make this decision. Now, this is the advice as a specific company would give it. Um, the weighting that they've given to factors three and six, crit critical yield and hurdle rates as strong, are specific to that company. And as Andrew mentioned, if we want to get this into the hands of advisors around the company, we need the ability to be able to change the weightings of these different factors for different advice philosophies and the different advice policies. And the way that we do that is we, we ask them to provide <clears throat> a set of, uh, set of data for us that looks a bit like this. So this will be 
um, several cases, you know, tens of cases, that are representative of how people give advice in their company on a particular topic. So this is anonymized, of course. Alan, again, it's not his real name. But this is data <clears throat> that they've captured about Alan in a particular advice case. So you know what his income is, what his, what his debts are, what his assets are, et cetera. And down at the bottom, you can see whether, in this case, this company advised him to transfer or not. What we then do is feed that into a uh, machine learning algorithm, which will then run through all of those cases and try to figure out what is it that you're doing in this company, what, have you, uh, what factors are you weighting against each other, what priority do you give to different factors. And it takes about 20 minutes or so to run. And what it gives us at the end <clears throat> is a model that we can upload to a new environment for you as an advisor, which will then give your advice in the way that you would give it. So this is the same case, Jane Green, uh, again to do with her uh, defined benefit pension. And if, if I scroll down to show, uh, to compare the two, you can see that the, the transfer decision is the same, but there's a new factor that has popped up into the strong column, so more weight is being given to this psychological factor. Um, so that's us training before your very eyes in 20 minutes uh, and, uh, and advise it to give the advice in the style of a new company. Great. So let's just bring that together. So essentially what we're doing here is we're using training data from a, an advice firm to train our algorithms to give advice as you, your firm, would do it. We can also turn the telescope round once we've built that model and use it as a compliance checking tool to actually look at all the advice that the firm is giving and spot outliers or anomalies. So just in summary, um, Turo is the artificial intelligence inside Wealth Wizards Robo Advisor. Who's it for? It's for financial advisors. What does it do? It allows us to rapidly configure our Robo Power Planner to deliver advice that is consistent with your house view. And we believe this is going to make it possible to make advice much more accessible for many more people in the UK.